Welcome to another episode of Sunny Spaces. Thanks for being with us, you guys. I'm your host, Brian Hawkins, and today we're gonna to check out Lancaster, Pennsylvania. As you walk into the Sassy Squirrel model, this is a two bedroom model, main level everything, no loft spaces, plenty of open space as you walk in, and you may or may not notice a theme. You might see a few squirrels throughout here. Named after my wife, Laura, because she said it's okay to be a little bit nuts. Don't tell her I said that. Don't tell her. Anyway, as we go through, you guys, this has a great open area for plenty of family. This model sleeps six. So for somebody like myself, who I know you've heard it a million times, has four kids, all four of them, can sleep in this model. So two main level bedrooms, couch that actually folds out into a queen size bed as well. So as you go through this home, first bed that sleeps two, I'll have the two little kids that sleep here. Plenty of kitchen, countertop space, full-size appliances. The black appliances definitely stand out just because you have pine everywhere, a little darker color countertop, but then you have the natural pine for the wood cabinets throughout as well. And then seating area, this is a really cool piece throughout the home. The live edges on both sides, just a smooth finish throughout as well. And then the same for the stools. All right, now let's go take a look at the bathroom. So this is hooked up to utilities for water power and sewer, regular standing shower, regular toilet, vanity to the left. Amazingly enough, this is one of the very few vacation rentals throughout the country that has a shower head taller than I am. I'm 6'4 and I can actually stand up in the shower. It's amazing. You don't see that very often. So I'm thankful for it. All right, let's check out the bedrooms. So now as we go to the first main level bedroom, this one's gonna have a queen size bed. Again, live wood accents throughout the entire room. End tables on both sides with your lamp. Place to plug in your phone or charge whatever you need to. I even love the actual little tree branch and limb underneath it just to have wood everywhere throughout this home. Again, you're gonna notice a squirrel as you're going throughout this. Squirrels on this side, squirrels on that side, above, below, everywhere. Real wood doors for privacy. These are always nice to have a heavier door but you still have a pass-through vent, both for cold air and warm air that's gonna come from that mini split. And then wardrobe here, really cool touch to it. Dresser, plenty of storage space with the mirror. Check yourself out in the morning, make sure you look good and you're ready to go. This is the other main level bedroom. Plenty of natural light coming in. You still have a ceiling fan as well. And then you have a light switch here to turn on the other pass-through vents, again, for the air conditioning and heating that comes from outside of the room. This one has a full-size bed, end table on the side. Again, outlets to charge what you need. Let's go take a look at some of the other models around the park. Now, if you've ever wanna know what it's like to sleep in a train, we got your caboose right here and it's all ready for you. So we're gonna go check out this model and see what it's like to sleep in a train that sleeps four to six people at one time. Let's go check it out. So as you walk up, this really is a caboose model from a train itself. It sits on a real rail, real cross ties underneath it and ballast, everything else that's there. It's been put in awesome, just pristine condition. And then as we walk in, Obviously this isn't how you drive a train, but it looks good, right? Now, a lot of people think when you're gonna sleep on a train, you think tight quarters, beds that fold into the walls, I don't have room to sit around or walk around at all. But right here in this caboose model, you have room for four people to sleep. You have a main level bedroom with a queen size bed. You have bunk beds out here in the main area as well with plenty of room to get up and down and still sit at the table for two people to eat. Full size fridge, regular basin sink and microwave as well. Plenty of room to be here for a couple of days at a time or even a week at a time. So as you walk through this model, you're gonna notice the pressure gauges that were originally a part of the train, the handles and the doors are all original pieces as well. The windows are gonna be original pieces as well to them. So this is what it felt like to travel on this exact caboose when you were cruising down the rail, no matter where you were in the country. Let's go check out one of the other models here in Lancaster. Having a yurt on the water is always a good idea. Now that you have paddle boats that you can rent, your own little private dock right here at the yurt, it's a gorgeous setting. Let's go see how many people can stay in this one. One of the things that I love about yurts is you typically have a natural skylight right at the top. It brings in a decent amount of light, lets you enjoy the stars at nighttime when you're up there in the loft space. You guys, you're here because you love the outdoors, but a yurt gives you a very unique feel, of just a circular setup. This one in particular has two different bedrooms and a loft space. So full-size bathroom with stand-up shower. In here in the bedroom, bunk beds to your right, real natural wood. You'll notice in the models that we've walked through today that they have bedding and linens on all of the vacation rentals. 
You're gonna to wanna to bring your own when you come as the resort does not provide these on location. Now this side of the year, you're gonna have a staircase up to the loft space with two twin size beds that can stare up into the stars all night long. You also have another main level bedroom here with a queen size bed. This model can sleep six. You have plenty of storage throughout the model, ceiling fans in every room. As you notice here in Lancaster County in Pennsylvania, you're surrounded by the woods, nature, beautiful surroundings and awesome people here with Mennonites and Amish and Dutch country in this area of the state. But in the park itself, you have things like six acre lake that are right behind me. You have jungle gyms and playgrounds for kids to play on. You have a lot of little areas for even softball, tetherball, volleyball, baseball. You also have a cafe and an arcade that's on site, your own ice cream parlor in the general store as well. And then you have RVs, park models, lots of different vacation rental options, just like you have the yurt on the lake, covered wagons, trains to stay in, tiny homes to stay in. So many different options available to everybody. No matter what walk of life you are from, you are going to enjoy your time in this part of Pennsylvania. You're only about an hour from Philadelphia in one direction, another hour to Harrisburg in the other direction. And then you even have places like Hershey and York that you can go visit. So many historical locations around the state of Pennsylvania Thanks for being here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania at another Sun Outdoors location with us. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and check out all the other amazing amenities and options that Sun Outdoors has to offer. We'll see you at the next spot.